Hello, I'm Ryan Haslam with your SCB News Break for Wednesday, January 22nd. Just three weeks after vandals trashed Castaic Elementary School's music classroom, the Castaic Union School District bus yard was hit by an incident of theft and vandalism. Tires were stolen off five buses sometime between January 10th and 13th. That halted bus service for Live Oak, North Lake Hills, and Castaic Middle School students that Monday morning. District Facilities Director Jamie Garcia says the damage is estimated at more than $6,000. The Sheriff's Department is investigating but is not believed that the two incidents of vandalism are related. Special education budget buses were not affected and the district has taken security precautions in hopes of preventing something like this from happening again. No arrests have been made as of yet, but anyone of course with information about the theft can contact the Santa Clarita Valley Sheriff's Station. Well, out with an old and in with a new and improved, crews are working this week to demolish long-standing portable classrooms at two Newhall School District sites. Austin Dave has more. Walls at Valencia Valley and Meadows Elementary Schools came tumbling down as part of an estimated $12 million modernization project. A field of parts, twisted scrap metal, and aging plastic litter the school sites, but it's not just the effects of a recent demolition. It's a field of memories for hundreds of elementary school students. And we just are finishing, you can see behind me, tearing out one of our uh, last portable buildings. Um, we had 11 portable buildings on campus. We'll be uh, putting in uh, new buildings hopefully soon here within the next uh, month or so. The demolition is part of a major overhaul to bring classrooms up to date with new present day technologies and more cost effective learning environments. Thankfully the community is supporting us. They passed Measure E. That allows us to get the funding so that we can go ahead and remove all of these portable classrooms at a number of our school sites. And that money kicked into helping us build a new permanent building on campus uh, to house our upper grade students. And so this is just the beginning of the project, uh, tearing out, destructing, uh, tearing up this old foundation and hauling away all this material. The former buildings were intended to be temporary when they were installed more than a decade ago, but they have remained due to budget limitations. The buildings were temporary buildings originally when they were brought in. We've had them here for a long time due to a lack of funding. So the need really is to bring in new high performance buildings. They're more energy efficient, better uh, learning environments for the kids, and they have much better uh, technology infrastructure built into them. Portable rooms, you have kind of one window, one door. This has multiple doors, two doors to enter and exit from. It has big windows, high vaulted ceiling. Uh, so that you can let in more natural light. Students love to see all the demolition that's going on. They love to see the, the crane in the back working and doing its work, the excavator. and They like to see uh, all the buildings collapsing around them. They're just fabulous buildings. They'll just enhance uh, their educational experience. Uh, it'll be a great place for our upper grade students and uh, uh, a wonderful addition to this uh, community. For SCB TV, I'm Austin Dave. After the break, a scary moment at halftime when a high school coach collapses with chest pains. Details on the condition of first-year Golden Valley coach Dan Alon next. At Nissan of Valencia, we take pride in supporting Santa Clarita schools and their dedicated students. Whether it's giving away free cars, providing academic scholarships, or supporting local sports teams, we want students to know hard work pays off. Hi, I'm Dan Sturkle, General Manager of Nissan Valencia, home to the $99 down delivered. For the vehicle you want at the lowest price in town, come on down to Nissan of Valencia, where our number one in customer service professionals will treat you with honesty and respect. What can you do with 10 bucks a month? Buy a ticket to the movies? No snacks. Or you can help feed and house the homeless in Santa Clarita. We're looking for friends at Bridge to Home, big and small, to bring food, shelter, medical and dental care, and job assistance for our neighbors who've fallen on tough times. Friends at Bridge to Home. To get our Santa Clarita shelter from 105 days a year to a full 365, join the Friends of Bridge to Home. Go to btohome.com for more information. Golden Valley first-year boys basketball head coach Dan Elon is recovering at a home tonight after he collapsed with chest pains during halftime of the Grizzlies game against Hart Tuesday. Elon was taken from the game by ambulance to Henry Mayo Newhall Memorial Hospital. He was released Wednesday morning. His doctor has ordered additional testing but has given him the okay to return to work and resume coaching Thursday. Following a 15-minute delay at halftime, the Hart Indians went on to beat the Grizzlies 84-61. 
And in girls basketball, Hart remains undefeated after a close game against Golden Valley that went into overtime Tuesday night. And the Indians overcame a 15-point deficit late in the fourth quarter to tie the game at 63 at the end of the regulation. In the fourth quarter, Hart's Emma Johnson was fouled shooting her first three-pointer of the season. After completing her free throw, the Grizzly lead was cut to six. Minutes later, Hart Indian Sophia Jacobson drained two free throws in the closing seconds to send the game to overtime. Hart went on to win the game 69-68. to Both games can be seen on SCV TV Wednesday night starting at 6 o'clock and online at SCVTV.com. Well, city leaders will, be, will welcome a new traffic roundabout with a ribbon-cutting ceremony in Old Town New Hall Thursday morning. The single-lane roundabout project is located at the corner of Main Street and 5th Street in Old Town New Hall. City officials say the roundabout will approve traffic flow in and out of Old Town New Hall. Turning to weather, clear skies and a high of 83 degrees in Santa Clarita Wednesday. Cooler temperatures, though, are on the way. We'll see about a 10-degree drop by Thursday when light to moderate winds are expected. Then on Friday, even cooler temperatures down into the 60s with mostly sunny skies. Warmer weather is in store over the weekend, however, with highs in the mid-70s. Those are expected both Saturday and Sunday. We've got a lot going on in our local entertainment scene. We've got Stephen K. Peoples here to tell us all about it. Stephen? Well, thanks, Ryan. It's NAM Show Weekend, when members of the National Association of Music Merchandisers converge on the Anaheim Convention Center. Half the musicians in Santa Clarita will be there checking out the latest gear and special musical events at the biggest music trade show in the country. Get all the details on membership and attendance at NAM.org. That's N-A-M-M dot O-R-G. Friday and Saturday nights, legendary comedian, author, TV host, baseball commentator, and animal rights activist Elaine Boozler Headlines at JR's Comedy Club. That's at Marie Callender's on the Old Road in Valencia. Elaine's a veteran comedy superstar who's headlined five Showtime specials and directed movies for Cinemax. She was a regular on Comic Relief and is a semi-regular on Politically Incorrect. For Elaine Boozler tickets and reservations at JR's, call 661-259-2291 or visit ComedyInValencia.com. Santa Clarita teen rockers The Fever, who guested on SCV TV's House Blend, hosted by yours truly about three years ago, have changed their name. Saturday night's their first gig as the Narwhals, don't ask me. And they'll debut new material that reflects the quartet's rapid evolution as writers and players. Showtime at Guitar Merchant in Canoga Park is 7.30 p.m. and features the Abstract Giraffe and T. Hardy as opening acts. Tickets are $10.00. Visit the Narwhals event page on Facebook or call 818-884-5905 for more info. And if you can't make it out on Saturday night, don't miss the encore broadcast and stream of Phil, Mr. Squeeze, Parlo Piano and the Medicine Men on House Blend. That's at 10 p.m. on Saturday right here on SCV TV and streaming at scvtv.com. You'll find lots more local entertainment news 24-7 at hometownstation.com, scvnews.com, and my blog, peoplesplace.com. I'm Stephen K. Peoples on the SCV Entertainment Beat. Back to you, Ryan. All right, thanks, Stephen. That's all for now. For more Santa Clarita news, log on to hometownstation.com or scvnews.com. Thank you for watching. I'm Ryan Haslam. <laughs>